Cookie Clicker is a game that we've all played at some point. However, if you want to play it on Steam, it's going to cost you some money. And I don't have any money, so... The most important part of Cookie Clicker is the cookie. So I started by adding a cookie. The second most important part is clicking the cookie. So I made it so when you click it, you get one cookie. The third most important thing... Hold on one second. Yo, what's up? Yeah, I'm making cookie clicker. What do you mean I can't do that? It's copyrighted. Well, shit. So, I've made some changes. I swapped out the cookie for a biscuit, and now instead of clicking the cookie, you bash the biscuit. I also thought I'd name the game Biscuit Basher because you bash biscuits. Anyways, let's get back to working on the gameplay. The next thing I needed to add was a way to get biscuits without actually playing the game, because I mean no one wants to actually sit here and click the mouse, right? The way I did this is by adding a biscuit per second system. Pretty self-explanatory system, the player will be given a certain amount of biscuits every second. Now I needed to add a way for the player to increase the amount of biscuits they get every second. So I introduced to you the upgrade system. It's a total of 3 biscuit per second upgrades, basses, rocks and bats. Every time you buy an upgrade, your total biscuits per second will increase. The price of each upgrade will also increase based on this formula that I might have borrowed from the other game that we no longer talk about. You may have noticed that there's also a fourth upgrade slot. This slot will be used to upgrade the amount of biscuits each manual click is worth. Add this to try and make clicking not completely useless after you've bought a couple of the other upgrades. Also for this game, I actually decided to try and make some real graphics instead of just using shapes. It's barely art, but it's better than what all my other games look like. Anyways, let's move on. To make the game feel a bit more fun, I decided to add some juice. I made it so when you click the biscuit, it has this little pop animation. I also added some audio feedback and now it sounds like this. I actually really like how this turned out, so I just copy and pasted it over to the buttons as well. Making these type of effects hardly takes any time at all, but makes the game look and feel so much better. It's almost fun to sit here and click the biscuit now. If you didn't already know, I'm trying to make 4 games and 4 devlogs this month, so I don't have too much time to work on each game, and unfortunately I need to move on to game number 3. This game was short and so was this devlog, but I guess that's just how it is sometimes. You can play the game using the link in the description, but before you do, why not check out this other devlog? If you made it this far, you'll probably like it. See you next time.